Today we're going to show you how to embed an iframe into your WordPress blog. This is great for including content from other websites or even YouTube videos. Now before we begin, we will note that not every site is able to be embedded because of security protocols that some sites have. Uh, but we'll be showing you how to do it with and without a plugin. So let's hop right in. So here we're in a WordPress dashboard. We're going to add a new post. Now, before we start, I just want to note that if you're just trying to include a YouTube video in your site, you can just paste the link in the WordPress editor and it'll automatically embed it for you if you're using one of the newer versions that came out in the last couple of years. That's probably the best way to include a video uh, from YouTube. But if you're trying to specifically include an iframe, here's how you do it. So in our example post here, make sure to add HTML. We can just go into the editor here and type in HTML. Now the HTML for an iframe goes as follows, iframe source equals, and we'll do bing.com. And that's it. Now we're going to preview the doc and you can see that we have bing.com here. Granted it's a bit small here, but that's how you embed an iframe. Now, if you're not comfortable with doing HTML, now we're going to show you how to do it using a plugin and a short code. So we're just going to go over here and download a new plugin. And the one we're going to be using is called iframe and it's over here by web validity. So now we've activated the plugin. Now here's the example short code they give you here. We'll be copying that and we'll go back to our post and we'll be removing our current HTML and adding some text here. And let's preview it. Now you can see here that it's not showing up and that's because our site has HTTPS. We make, sh make sure that all your embeds have HTTPS set, otherwise they won't display in most browsers. And there you go, there's the embed. Now if you notice it's square, which is a bit odd and it's not responsive. Now if you wanna make your YouTube embeds responsive, here's how you do that. First of all, we're gonna switch over to HTML and we're gonna wrap our iframe tag. This will also work with the HTML tag or the short code. So either way that you're doing it, you'll need to add this new tag in. Div class equals responsive embed container. Now this class actually does nothing right now, but we're gonna show you how to add HTML into your site that'll make the embed responsive using this code. And then we're gonna end the div tag over here. You can see here that the embed is incorrect because we have a widescreen video here. So we're gonna go into customize and your WordPress site should let you add additional CSS here. If it doesn't, you can find plenty of plugins that let you add CSS. Now we're gonna go over to our blog post which has the code examples that we're using in this video. And we're gonna add the CSS here for the responsive embed container. And now you can see it's the proper aspect ratio and as we scroll down, and go to mobile phone size, it'll be the same aspect ratio in all browsers. And that div tag will work great on all your videos. So if you're trying to make a responsive container for your YouTube videos, that CSS will work for you. And that's it, you've included an iframe on your site. And as you've seen, it's really easy and it's a simple way to include YouTube videos in your site or any kind of content. Now, if you have any questions or hunt up on anything, let us know in the comments and we'll be resp responding. And for all of the code examples and the full tutorial, check out the link in our description and that includes the links to the plugins used as well. And for more WordPress tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out our, our website, smartwp.com. Thanks for watching.